we're just <laughs> so tonight we're doing a little fun facelift and and a few of us have done this before and it's amazing how it lifts your face and you know one of the things i think as we age <laughs> we start noticing you know the cheeks the jowls everything kind of hanging and it's hard to take sometimes, you know, sometimes you have days, it's just like, I'll, I'll look in the mirror and I'll stop and I'll go, oh my God, is that really me? You know, and, and we have to learn some acceptance with aging. And I, I shared with uh, Wendy, I went to go have a pedicure the other day and some woman came walking in and she looked like she was quite well to do. But when she walked in, I took a double take because her face was so hideously, Oh God, it was just, it was ruined. She had had so much work done on her face. She looked frightening. I mean, absolutely frightening. I, I just kind of went like this and you could tell everybody in the whole place was kind of looking at her. Like, oh my God, her lips were out to here. I mean, her face was here. She looked like she was probably just by the way she was moving, you know, in her, I'd say, I don't know, maybe 80 ish. And it was like, the face just didn't go with the rest of the body and the hands and everything. And, and I just thought, oh my gosh, you know, bless her heart. And each one of us is free to do what we want, but I'm going to try to age gracefully, you know, and the, when we age, we're supposed to look older and more mature. And I just felt bad for her. And I thought I've got to learn acceptance of what the, what's I've got going on here. And so I wanted to talk before we did our little thing about the benefits of bergamot. And if you have not smelled bergamot oil, some people call it bergamo, bergamot, it is an amazing, amazing oil. And it is, the, what, what was that? This is my heart oil. <laughs> oh, I love that. And it it's is my favorite. <laughs> It is one of my very favorites. And Eddie, can you bring me the bergamot oil? We've got every oil around. and But this oil is just, every time I yes. smell it, I never yes. it, and it goes with everything. So if you have your bergamot, put, um, put a drop in your hand and, and just take it in. But what bergamot is, it's the oil of self-acceptance. I'll have to get mine. I didn't know we needed that one. Well, yeah, I just, we was Daryl And so, but I wanted to let you know, that's what that oil is. The oil of self-acceptance. And it has a cleansing effect on kind of limiting beliefs and stagnant feelings that we might be holding. And the cleansing properties in this beautiful oil just generate movement in your energy system. <laughs> helps us to let go of self-judgment and just kind of along with loving ourselves unconditionally. And so I just felt like this is one as we age or as we're looking in the mirror going, Ooh, you know, I got more lines here or I've got spots here, whatever, you know, just the aging process, just loving ourselves. It's like, you know, this is who I am and I'm, I'm growing old gracefully and so I'm going to pull out my bergamot and it just always puts a smile on my face. Another great, it, I'll tell you, it goes with everything. It truly does. Kathy made a beautiful blend with balance, which is one of our uh, oil blends. And so she, she did half balance and then half bergamot and we call it the badass blend. And it is just phenomenal. So you put those two oils in a roller ball and you roll it on like a perfume. It's just absolutely heavenly. It's beautiful. And I'd like to add that sometimes students will tell me that they have a loss of sense of smell and taste. And I just want to reinforce that these essential oil molecules actually break through the cellular membrane and they make changes to the cell. So even though you're not registering perhaps the aroma or the taste of these products, they're still benefiting your body. And when you put them on your skin, they enter your bloodstream within 30 seconds. And yeah, it's pretty in. amazing. And they can inhale them aromatically. They go to the brain and the amygdala and they start to make change within, you know, immediately. Right. So right. incredible. Right. And I'll just add too that when you inhale them and they go into your lungs, 
they go right into the small little capillaries that pass from the lungs right into the bloodstream. So it's a very fast way to get the essential oils into your body. But I thank you for sharing that oil of acceptance. It's really, it's lovely. It's got kind of a citrusy, very clean citrusy scent, but it's not pulpy. It's, it's got a very unique aroma. It's just beautiful. Well, for those of you who drink Earl Grey tea, that's what's in Earl Grey tea. It's bergamot and black tea. Got so it. You can keep your own oh. Earl Grey tea. Just do a cup of black tea and put one drop of bergamot and there you've got it, Earl Grey. It's mm -hmm. All right. I, I, I would do a toothpick of it in one in cup. If you're brewing a pot, then a drop would be okay. But if you want, I think... It, I've tried a drop and I think it's a little potent. I think a toothpick dipping in there and then stirring it into your tea might be a little closer to the bergamot, I mean, the Earl Grey you're used to, um, but certainly it doesn't taste bad if you have the drop in there. It just doesn't taste exactly like Earl Grey. It still tastes delicious. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so once we've come into a place of acceptance, <laughs> We're gonna fight like hell <laughs> to improve our body's ability to make collagen, which helps to support your skin and actually supports your entire body. And also a substance called hyaluronic acid, which the hyaluronic acid allows your cells to maintain moisture, keeps them hydrated and plump. And these two compounds are found in this amazing system of the body called fascia. And I learned about fascia several years ago when I was dealing with a lot of strange body-wide <sighs> symptoms of pain and dysfunction, everything from low back pain to a loss of flexibility. I had exercise induced migraines. I had all these crazy things going on. And I had a conversation with a chiropractor who told me that it was my fascia. And I had been studying anatomy since I was in my um, very early twenties and I had never heard about fascia before. Fascia is a pretty newly discovered system in the body. And as I alluded to earlier, it's a fluid-based system. It occurs right underneath the surface of the skin and it goes layer by layer all the way to your bones. It surrounds your muscles. So you may have heard of myofascia before, myo meaning muscle and fascia meaning fascia. <laughs> <laughs> and it goes around your tendons and your ligaments and your organs. And if we could dissolve every tissue in the body except for fascia, you would find that it's a seamless system. It connects everything to everything else and it is one system. You have different types of fascia. And so tonight we're gonna to be talking about the superficial layer of fascia, which is occurring just underneath the surface of the skin. And as we manipulate the fascia in a particular way, will be improving our body's ability to make collagen and improve our body's ability to hold on to the moisture within the cells through the development of hyaluronic acid. Has anybody used those products before? Like I think Kathy drinks a collagen supplement in coffee. Yeah, is anybody else taking anything like this, the hyaluronic acid or the collagen? It's okay. totally <clears throat> fine, of course, to, to try that and see if you actually notice a change in your skin or in your, your whole body. Cause of course, when the fascia gets dry as it will naturally, as we age, it causes our joints to compress. It can interfere with digestion, with your um, alignment, your stability and your mobility. So collagen in that supplement form could actually be beneficial. It just depends on what your body thinks of that product, it may see it as a foreign invader and you may absorb some of it and some of it will be eliminated uh, through the lymph system and then out of the body. So if you're not noticing a change, then it might not be worth taking. Sue Hitzman is the creator of the MELT method, which is the, the method that I learned about fascia through. And she swears by a collagen supplement. She takes it all the time. And by the way, her neck is spectacular. <laughs> anyway, there's that. <laughs> So try these things. If they don't work, then let them go um, because it's much better for your body to actually make your own collagen and make your own hyaluronic acid because it will understand exactly 
how to use those things. And you can feel that tonight when we do our little face lift yeah, class. I use the Yarrow Palm too. The Yarrow Palm helps your skin create its own collagen. So I put that on twice a day. I just <clears> use <throat> my Yarrow Palm. I love oh, this product. I love it. I, I love, love this. And I think Susan, you were interested in the Yarrow Palm a while ago. This might be something that you'd like to add uh, to your order someday. It, it's a beautiful product, really. I wish I could give you a sample of this right now so you could try it. But yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and use this tonight. Yeah. So I, I have my husband all. using it on his scaly feet. Those <laughs> have been the only thing that has descaled him. And right. I'm like, oh, sweetie, this is like 70 something bucks a pop. So you got to go gently on. It. He's like, I well, love maybe, this stuff. Maybe use the uh, Yarrow Palm body serum instead. You'll get a little bit more mileage out of that. And it comes in that pump. There it is. I love oh, that. that's a very good point, Wendy. Yeah, that's a yes. really good I product. I blew too. through that stuff. That came in our convention box, I think, right? Yeah. 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 It's beautiful. I think it's been back ordered for a while. I know that they were selling a little kit of the Yarrow Palm products and it was in there and I'm not sure we could check even while we're on the call mm. um, to see if they still have that. But anyway, that, even, that's- Even diluting it a little bit with fractionated coconut oil to just to make it go a little further. You know, Jill, make, him, make him his own roller ball with- Oh, right, that's good. Yeah. Coconut oil and the blue Yarrow Palm and then tell him to keep his grimy little hands off your Yarrow Palm. <laughs> His grimy feet. Yeah, keep his grimy feet grimy off. I have to say, I'm loving the smooth feet, but <laughs> yeah, he, he doesn't he doesn't understand portions with the oils. Yeah, most guys don't. <laughs> yeah. And he's using that for what? Um, his his peeling feet. <laughs> he has very dry, cracked like heels in particular. He's had them the entire time I've known him, which is yeah. a long time. And he's never had any relief from it until he started the Yarrow Palm. Okay. Yeah, it's good stuff. It is, it's so excellent. I was even thinking that the Yarrow Palm could be combined with a hand and body lotion and he could have mm -hmm. his own cream and he could put that yeah. on and maybe wear some socks at night and that would really help <laughs> to hydrate the skin too. And uh, no, that works though. Yeah. My, husband yeah. wore, my husband wore socks for like the first two years of our marriage because he had issues like that. And then he got it under control and, and didn't have to do it anymore. But if we had had Yarrow Palm, it might've been six months instead of two years. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Men in their feet. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, we're back to fascia and talking about how we can stimulate the production of collagen and hyaluronic acid. But I also want you to know, of course, with our essential oils and all of our great supplements, how important it is to eat a beautiful, whole food plant-based diet to also help support your skin. And because you're on the call tonight, you're gonna get the recording for this so that you'll be able to go through the technique and watch us do it together. But I'm also gonna send you a two day cleanse. It's a meal plan with some really delicious recipes, some of my favorites. And it has uh, avocados in it, which are so good for your skin. It's a vit vitamin three um, fat soluble vitamin that's in avocados that just really help protect your skin from aging and strawberries are in it. And that's a really, did you know that strawberries can help protect your skin from UV rays? I just think that's awesome. So this time of year, you wanna eat a lot of strawberries and the dark, dark uh, leafy greens like kale and spinach, excellent just for, for every aspect of your health from antioxidants that will help to fight wrinkles, to help your hair be shiny, the beta carotene to keep your eyes healthy and sparkly, fiber to aid with your digestion and remembering that your skin is an organ of elimination. So everything can come out of your skin. So you wanna make sure that what you're putting in is as clean as it can be. So when it comes out, it's not causing a lot of disruption. And then of course, with your leafy greens, you're getting calcium for strong bones. So the list goes on. So eat plenty of those leafy greens to keep yourself beautiful on the inside and the outside. So I'm gonna be sending you a nice little two day cleanse as well. Okay, are we ready to get started? Yeah. All right. So I want you to know also that you'll be getting a little cheat sheet for this and it's divided into two parts. The first part is a face massage, which I've recently been adding, 
but had done it previously without doing a face massage. So it's totally up to you if you wanna add that or not. I like the benefit of the face massage because I can use my essential oils to really help nourish my skin. What I like to use, it's, it's kind of inspired from Kimberly, is a combination of the Virage uh, hydrating serum and my yarrow palm. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of those in my hands. If you don't have these products, you can use coconut oil, you can use olive oil. You know, if you didn't have access to the doTERRA product line, don't let it keep you from exploring using a plant-based oil on your skin. So that's what I'm gonna do first. I'm just gonna take a little bit of each one of those. And the yarrow palm is that inky blue color, which tells you that it's very high in antioxidants. And I'm just gonna generously apply that to my skin and my neck, which I've just recently become hyper aware of. <laughs> it's one of those things you have to accept. Uh, I don't think so, I'm gonna fight my way through that. <laughs> okay, so once I'm done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and seal these up just in case I get a little animated here. <laughs> and I'd like you to start by supporting the lymphatic system. So you have a drainage system in your face and we're just gonna take two fingers and you're gonna pull on either side of your nose down towards your cheeks. And if you notice that you are starting to get really pink, like I think I feel like I'm getting a little bit pink already. If you notice that, that's the detoxification through the lymphatic system. So it's actually a really good thing. We were talking the last time we went, that we met that the mud mask was causing some of us to get kind of a bright red face but that's the detoxifying component of our detoxifying mud mask. So that's what that's all about. So you want it to drain. If you're having sinus issues, sinus congestion, if you have TMJ, all of these techniques that we're gonna do tonight will help support your health. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna take my hands kind of in this shape and I'm just gonna run the thumb underneath my jaw and up towards my ear. I'm just running it right along as if I was lifting my um, jowl up towards my ears. And I'm probably gonna do that about 10 to 20 times. For our call tonight, I'm just gonna do it maybe a few times and then we'll move on. Okay, then the next one I'm gonna do is gonna run my fingers from the sides of my nose out towards my cheek. This is called the nasolabial fold that some of us develop these little parentheses that you can see on me. And this is the massage part. And again, this is something that I've recently added and haven't always done it this way, but I like it. It helps to stimulate circulation. And anytime you talk about circulation, you can't help but talk about the fascial system and the lymph system, everything is intertwined. I'm gonna take the heel of my hand and I'm gonna push that underneath my, um, my cheeks and I'm gonna pull up towards my temples. And again, this is just that face, facial massage. You'll get all of this in the little cheat sheet, okay? And then I'm gonna take my fingers and I'm gonna run it in between my eyebrows because I get those little straight lines <laughs> in between my eyebrows and I'm just gonna pull that out. You can do a little cross friction on the sides of your eyes for those little crow's feet. And then same thing on the other side. And don't worry about memorizing any of this because you'll get it all, okay? All right, great. So that's kind of what I do just to get started. If we were doing the traditional facelift through that melt method technique that I was mentioning, we might do a hand treatment, which is very nice to move the fluid from your hands up your arms into your face and helps you fill in the fluid. But that's why I like to do a face massage if I don't do the hand treatment in case you've done that with me before. Okay, the next thing that we're gonna do is I want you to take your thumb and I want you to find what's called the mastoid process. And it's a bony landmark behind your ear. And if you kind of tap the back of your head, it'll all, almost sound like somebody's knocking at the door. Like you can kind of hear that vibrating through your body. Can you feel that, that mastoid process? And Jill, let's just do one side of the oh. head and then we'll we'll compare. No, you're doing fine. You get an A for effort. And all I want to do is take my thumb. I'm going to into the mastery process and I'm going to tip my head over to the right and I'm letting my head rest in my hand. 
And I'm just gonna draw about mm, maybe 20 little circles. This is the superficial layer of fascia. So you don't have to go really deep to make significant changes. And then I'm gonna ask you just to hold your thumb still and just take a focused breath. And that's really an important aspect of all this because we do hold a lot of tension in our face and just taking that focused breath can help de-stress the nervous system. From here, I'm gonna take my thumb and I'm gonna take it right into my jaw and I'm gonna draw some circles here. So in the melt method, we call this a shear and the shear technique will help you develop that hyaluronic acid and collagen production. This is what's doing that work of the heavy lifting of your skin and the plumping up of the cells. And again, I'm just gonna hold that and just take a nice focused breath. I'm gonna take my thumb up to my temple and I'm gonna draw some circles here too. And I draw about 20 of those. I want you to just kind of notice as we do this, if you're experiencing any changes. So some of the things that I'll notice, one of the first things I'll notice is my lips start to feel like they're kind of getting a little fuller on that side that I'm working with. And then I'm gonna ask you to just hold that for me and just hang out here and wait. We're gonna come back to the jaw and I'm gonna draw my circles here. And I'm gonna add something called a pin and stretch. So hold your thumb against the jaw and open and close your mouth. And then just hang out here and just wait. We'll take the thumb back to the mastoid process and go ahead and draw some more circles. This is also an area of lymphatic drainage. You've got about 450 of these areas in your body and the lymph system doesn't have a pump. So it requires manipulation through movement as we're doing tonight to help the lymphatic system drain fluids and carry toxins away from the body. Go ahead and hold it here and just take a little breath and wait. Okay. So from here, I'm gonna take my hand into that same, the right side of my face, and I'm gonna pull up on my tissue. It's like I'm pinning the skin to my skeleton, to my skull, and I'm gonna open my mouth. And when you do that, the, yes. the hand is gonna pull. Can you hear Tinkerbell? The hand is gonna pull up. And you can do that several times. You can focus that same kind of movement towards, I have like a little wrinkly spot here on my jawline and I'm gonna do the same thing. And then what I want you to do after that is just a little brush. This is a rinse. I'm just working on this right side. So I'm gonna take my fingertips slightly from my hairline to my eyebrow, from my cheek to my jaw, and then I'm gonna go from my jaw down to my collarbone, but I'm gonna come from the side of the neck in. Oh, and I have one more I have to add. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna take my hand into a fist and I have my thumb pointing down. I'm gonna take this flat side of my hand and I'm gonna put it up against the side of my neck. I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna do them at the same time, but in order to explain it, I'm gonna start with just one at a time. I'm gonna take my thumb, which is pointing down towards my collarbone, and I'm gonna rotate my arm so that my thumb's pointing back behind me. I'm gonna release and reset. So the side of my fingers are pressing into my neck and I'm turning my thumb towards the back. At the same time, I'm gonna to turn to the opposite direction. And then I'm gonna release. I love this one. Oh, Carrie is here. <laughs> Where'd she go? Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and release. So if you wanted to, 
this would be a good time if you want to take a picture. You can see if you're making any changes. And you could compare one picture to the next. There's something called um, Pick Stitch, and it's an app on my phone. And it looks like it wants me to pay for that, which I'm not going to do. Here we go. And you can add pictures that you've taken. Oh, there's a difference. There is a difference. Can you see it? I can it? see it. My eyebrow is way up there. Yeah. Oh, gosh, I think mine is too. So this is the side that I did. <coughs> and one of the things that I'm most particular about is right here. And this area has lifted. And this one still looks really saggy. Can you see the difference on me? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So I really appreciate that. And just like Kathy said, my eyebrow on this side goes whoop, way up. I feel like I have mu a much better jawline. Look at the difference in my eyes. Not oh, only wow. But my eye is open. Like yeah. this is eyebrows way up here. Literally. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, it's very, very good. Nice 